Race two here at Doncaster is the Stayers Maiden over two mile, two furlongs. This testing ground is going to be a real test of stamina here. So, number one, we've got Epic Amigo, Alex Ince. Number two, Prometheus, Leon Van Rensburg. Shergar for Ryan Costello's number three. Stay for another, Joshua Sutherland. Four, Walk the Line for Ryan Tamasebi. Number five, number six is Bad Habits for Martin Liedem. Pa Pada Pop for Satyam, number seven. Number eight is Red Ruth Sky for Craig Allen, the 15th aid favourite. Nine, Tegava Pontypool Racing. Ten, Takiti Namika for Alex Cherry. Kokotsa World for Mike Westwood's in 11. Number 12, Royal Longbow for Jim Murray. And last but not least is Avon Blaze for Terry Hansen. And they're off and running here in the William Hill Stayers Maiden at Doncaster. It's two mile, two furlongs. Some good performances in week one from some of these runners. Red Ruth Sky and Tagava, both coming runner-up in their week one races. Walk the line, third, and stay for another was fourth on that debut run for Joshua Sutherland. So some good types in this race, and it'll be interesting to see whether any of those are involved at the finish here. I'm sure a couple of them will be as they go past what will be the winning post in a circuit's time. It's Tagava and Avon Blaze who are neck and neck at the front here as they start turning left-handed there. A couple of lengths back to stay for another walk the line, racing widest of all, and it's just been pushed a little bit wider there by Royal Longbows. They come round that bend, and Redruth Sky, the black horse there for Craig Allen, just moved smoothly forward to go alongside stay for another, and that one's joined closely by Epic Amigo. Towards the rear of the field, we've got Takiti Namika for Alex Cherry, in the blue with the white cross and the orange sleeves and that one's racing alongside those familiar colours of Leon Van Rensburg, the dark blue silks and the yellow hat there, that's Prometheus who's just stuck in behind Shergar and Pa Pada Pop, love the name of that horse, that one just rolls off the tongue, 12 and a half furlongs left to go and a pretty steady pace being set up front by Graham Clutterbuck's horse Tagava and just on the outside of that one we've got Avon Blaze for Terry Hansen. And there's a good length there, a good four or five length gap opening up there already. Back to Jim Murray's Royal Longbow towards the rail. We've got Walk the Line and Red Ruth Sky. And just in behind those Epic Amigo and Walk the Line on the outside is that. That's the one in the red and blue silks for my stable. And still towards the rear of the field at the moment, we've got Pa Pada Pop, Prometheus and Takiti Namika. So we're inside the, the final 10 furlongs now and Tagava's just kicked on from Avon Blaze. And Avon Blaze just dropping back there to join the chasing pack, which is still led by Red Root Sky for Craig Allen. Royal Longbow on the outside, and that one's now just moved into second place. And stay for another, passes Avon Blaze as well, and that one's now back in the middle of the pack. And is starting to drop towards the rear of the field. Let's just hope that's the jockey conserving some energy for later in the race, rather than anything being amiss with the horse. But it is still being pushed along there, Avon Blaze. It doesn't look like it's enjoying itself today. So it's still Tagava in the lead as we keep going downhill here at Doncaster. Just past the seven furlong marker there. And it's Tagava that still has a good two to three length advantage over Red Ruth Sky and Royal Longbow. The two black horses that are just alongside each other. And in behind those we still have Stay for another travelling strongly for Joshua Sutherland. Walk the line up on the outside for Ryan Tamasebi is now past Epic Amigo. Shergar and Prometheus for Ryan Costello and Leon Van Rensburg are ever closer. And as is Takiti Namika on the outside. And as you can see there's a couple struggling towards the back of the field. Which includes early leader Avon Blaze and Pap had to pop the grey horse at the back of the field. Bad Habits is going to need to make a move to get involved in this race. So Tagava... Its lead is ever decreasing now, and it's about to be passed for the first time, I think, by Walk the Line. Red Ruth Sky being very patiently ridden by the jockey on that one. I think he's got some confidence, and now he's trying to hit the go button, as has the jockey on Prometheus, and that one's starting to make a move. But as we approach the two-and-a-half furlong marker, it's Walk the Line that's gone into the lead for Ryan Tamasebi. Prometheus is now going to start trying to hunt it down. Tagava's going to have to kick on again to get back involved. So it's Walk the Line that has the lead as we approach one-and-a-half furlongs out, and is going to try and hold off a challenge from two of the mighty stables. We've got Leon Van Rensburg's Prometheus in Red Ruth Sky for Craig Allen are going to try and chase it down, but they're going to have to get motoring because Walk the Line is towing the line here in front as we go into the final half of Furlong, and he's holding off all challenges. Walk the Line, who was fancied to win on week one, is going to put that run behind it and follow up that third on week one with quite a comfortable win in week two in the Doncaster, the William Hill Stairs Maiden. Delighted to see that one get off the board.
I was slightly disappointed with that run in week one, I must admit. I think the world of this horse. And he's held off some useful challenges there with Prometheus about a length back in second. And the 6-4 favourite, Red Ruth Sky, third for Craig Allen. Tagava set a decent pace but faded into fourth for Pontypool Racing. And Royal Longbow, that travelled so well for large parts of the race, uh, finished fifth for Jim Murray.